hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you have been watching my videos you already know that our nephew is here in mexico so we took him to downtown uh, the center of uh, queretaro and this video is a casual video of what we did there a detailed video of downtown of queretaro is already there on my channel i will leave the link in the description box this particular place is before going to town downtown this is near arcos uh, arcos is the landmark of queretaro so uh, there you need to take a right and you will get to this viewpoint from here you can see the whole city you can see uh, Los Arcos also so this is a good place or good uh, point where you can take some pictures uh, from where you can see the whole city of Queretaro and after this then we drove to Centro and before uh, we started walking around we decided to have our lunch because uh, we went there around lunch time so we were very hungry so we decided to have our lunch in this uh, particular restaurant which is um, you know just near the main church of uh, Centro Queretaro we basically went there because they had some promotion on alitas alitas means uh, chicken wings uh, my husband loves chicken wings so we went there because there was some promotion uh, but uh, I would say the food, uh, they took some time to uh, give the food, though there were not many customers. I don't know why, they took a lot of time. And the food was okay, not that great. This is called alambre. Basically, you have to uh, put the chicken filling in this tortilla and have it. It has cheese and the, the cheese was not tasting that great. So I had this and my husband and nephew had alitas, the chicken wings. And my daughter had some boneless chicken with french fries. So after having our lunch, which already got delayed because of the late uh, delivery, but after that we took some amazing pictures. That was one good thing about this restaurant because this was uh, quite near to the church. The view was amazing. So we took some amazing pictures, which I'll post at the end of this video. So keep watching. So after having our food, uh, we just uh, took some pictures, as I said, and then we went out and we basically came to Centro to show, uh, you know, to do some shopping and also to show the place to our nephew. So after this, we walked out and let me show you how the restaurant was from outside. This is where um, the restaurant was when you come to the, you know, after parking your car, when you come near to the main church of the uh, Centro Queretaro, you will find this particular restaurant, which is a typical Mexican restaurant. And I have already spoken about all these landmarks that you see here in Queretaro downtown in my previous video. So if you are interested in that, you can check that video. Uh, so here I'm not going to repeat the same things. I will just show you what we did and what we saw around. There are many other restaurants there in uh, the main downtown uh, which are typical Mexican restaurants and they also play some amazing music. So evenings and all it's perfect place to relax, eat and also enjoy some music. But uh, we wanted to try something different because we have already been to these restaurants so that's why we went to the other one. And after that we just walked down the street to see what uh, you know would be interesting for my nephew to take for his friends back in United States. Before that we thought we'll have some uh, local ice cream and we went to the store. Uh, they had good uh, flavor for a very very reasonable price like uh, the small um, you know the small cup of ice cream was like 25 pesos with two flavors. It was very little but I mean, if you're someone who enjoys uh, different flavors, then this place is good. For 25 pesos, they give you two different flavors. So we enjoyed some ice cream, uh, which is basically made of fruits. Uh, I mean, the flavor of fruit. And then we again started walking around uh, to see what we could buy.
our nephew actually wanted something like this uh, he wanted to uh, buy one uh, which is uh, you know little more shorter than this and uh, which looked like a typical mexican outfit but he couldn't find the uh, size that he wanted so he didn't buy it but if you are someone who wants to try you know these typical mexican uh, outfits then you should go to downtown and they have at a very very reasonable prices like 100 or 150 pesos This building is uh, beautifully decorated during Independence Day or during Christmas. Uh, you can watch my previous videos, and I have shown you the night view of this building, which looks amazing because of the lights. And you will see a lot of street vendors selling uh, typical Mexican crafts like bracelets or the bags or the Mexican toy, uh, which looks like a, which is a girl. You know, that's a beautiful toy. Which if you want to gift uh, any of your friends back in US or in India, you should take that, and it will remind them of Mexico. Then we went to the store to buy some Mexican sweets. Basically, Mexican sweets are uh, made of coconut or caramel and uh, or with milk. So these are some of the typical Mexican sweets, and they actually taste uh, similar to what we get in India. Like for example, this particular sweet, which is made of caramel and uh, milk, tastes exactly like peda. And there is this uh, another this one. This is the one that tastes exactly like uh, Indian peda. And there is another one with coconut, and that also tastes like a coconut. Bird. and uh, there are also other uh, you know similar sweets which are made with peanut or sesame seeds uh, so if you are someone who are who's missing your indian sweets then you should go and get this from the downtown 
then we almost finished our shopping and we came here um, you know and this place looked amazing with this different kind of decoration <laughs> and we just decided to do some dance steps for my <laughs> instagram reel and we did a couple, we did a dance i was totally embarrassed but uh, even my nephew was embarrassed but my husband uh, kept on saying that we should try a uh, step here and we did it but you can see the embarrassment on my face <laughs> but my nephew really enjoyed it because he felt that the mexicans don't judge people here so that was one good experience i hope you guys like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next one until then take care bye